I bought this classic iPhone 4S for just 15 bucks. I quit my iPhone 15 Pro Max for one day and started using this vintage iPhone 4S. This beautiful white iPhone was released back in 2011. This is the last iPhone made by Steve Jobs. This is the last true classic iPhone. The main goal of this video is to test in real life conditions if it's even possible to use the iPhone 4S running iOS 6 in modern times. What it can offer you for 15 bucks? Wanna find out? Watch this video. How can I help you? I remember the exact moment when 13 years ago I was sitting in school and was dreaming about buying this white iPhone 4S. It was so amazing and I instantly fell in love with this device. Unfortunately, back in the day it was way too expensive for my little budget. Only a few years later I had enough money to finally afford it. Now it's 2024 and I've dusted off my trusty iPhone 4S. Actually I have three of them. The design. Oh, that glass bag and stainless steel frame still looks incredible. And there is no camera bump, it's completely flat. First, let's talk about the screen. That 3.5 inch retina display was truly groundbreaking at its time, but in 2024 it feels tiny, although I should admit the picture quality is still ok, the pixel density is at 330 dpi. This tiny screen is just half of my Apple Watch Ultra display, that's crazy. Remember when we didn't have giant screens? Those were the days when it was possible to use the iPhone with only one hand. Actually, it was considered as an advantage. I must admit, I feel most nostalgic for iOS 6. This was the fastest and the most good-looking operating system in the world. I still believe it was the most stable and the most simple iOS ever. I just love those juicy icons. They are so beautiful and unique. Unfortunately, with future iOS 7 update, Apple introduced the modern flat-looking design that we are still experiencing on iOS today. iOS 6 was so simple. It didn't even have the proper control center to adjust brightness or toggle Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You'll need to dive into settings for that iPhone 4S feels surprisingly fast, partially because it uses Apple A5 chip. Apps are opening very quickly and there are no bugs in the system. Again, iOS 6 was crazy fast on this device. One of the biggest features of iOS 6 is of course Siri. Apple advertised it as a groundbreaking virtual assistant. Siri was your AI assistant before the AI was even invented. Despite being around for 13 years, Siri's development has not progressed much. Basically, it is still useless besides setting timers or opening apps. I remember watching TV ads showing Siri. It was so incredible back in 2011. Now let's talk cameras. The 8 megapixel rear camera was impressive back then, but today, well, it's like taking photos with a potato. Grainy, low light, creepy pictures and videos. I think nowadays I can take better pictures with a calculator. Here are some photos and video samples from the iPhone 4S and iPhone 15 Pro Max. I think the difference is obvious.
battery life. Unfortunately, today the iPhone 4S barely makes it through the day. Charging it feels like a race against time. And yes, that old 30-pin connector is still here. Good luck finding one. Unfortunately, most of the apps out there are simply not working. Some of the modern apps, such as TikTok, were not even invented back in the day. Even launching standard apps such as Maps, Weather, App Store will take you nowhere. Apple is no longer supporting iOS 6 devices, so it's completely dead. But thanks God, there is still jailbreak. I was able to install some old apps and games we all used to play 13 years ago. When I think about the iPhone 4S era, first game I remember is of course Angry Birds. It was so iconic. Two hours later. And I still think it is the best mobile game of all times. Next popular game is Doodle Jump. Everyone used to play Flappy Bird. Some people even lost their mind due to the game's challenging and frustrating nature. Later on, Apple even removed it from the App Store. Subway Surfers was also an iconic game. It was one of the first endless runners on the App Store. Of course, with no in-app purchases or subscriptions. 13 years ago, no one would pay a monthly fee for a game or an app, including myself. Finally, let's have a look at one of my favorite games I used to play 13 years ago, Jetpack Joyride. Of course, there are many more games we all once loved to play. By the way, let me know in the comment section what was your favorite iOS game 10 or 15 years ago. iOS 6 is so old now that you cannot even have a proper web browsing experience, because Safari on iOS 6 is too outdated and does not support modern websites. Almost all of the websites I was trying to visit failed to load properly. The only website I was able to open is surprisingly YouTube. Yes, you can still watch YouTube videos in 2024 on your old iPhone 4S running iOS 6. It's a revolution, Johnny! Unfortunately, the iPhone 4S was completely killed by Apple with future iOS updates. When iOS 7 entered the scene, bringing a radical redesign, flat icons, translucent layers and parallax effects, it was a visual feast. But our little iPhone 4S wasn't quite ready for this makeover. Suddenly, our once snappy phone felt sluggish. Opening apps took longer and animations became less fluid. Using the iPhone 4S felt like watching a marathon runner turn into a jogger. iOS 7 was a vampire. Our iPhone 4S drained faster than a kid with a juice box. And then came iOS 9, the final update for this iPhone. This was the turning point. Apple's intentions were clear. They said goodbye to the iPhone 4S, entering the new era of modern iPhones. But this is a completely different story. Verdict. So, is the iPhone 4S on iOS 6 still worth it in 2024? Honestly, it's a charming experience. If you're feeling nostalgic or want to impress your friends with some retro vibes, go for it. But as a daily driver, it's almost as useful as a brick. 
But you know what, this dummy iPhone 4S on iOS 6 still has one advantage over the modern iPhones. You can use it as a perfect digital detox device and get yourself into your personal oasis of digital calm. No notifications, no emails, no stupid in-app purchases or subscription-based apps, no apps at all. Use it as a simple phone to make calls and by the way, it still works fine. It's a perfect device if you're overloaded and want to take a break from being constantly distracted or if you have just 15 bucks to buy a smartphone.